Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Jordan and we're going to talk Supercoach. We're going to talk round 12, the worst round ever, round 12, 2018. We can all remember this round. Just an absurd amount of injuries and Nat 5 had to get suspended as well. Um, yeah, and these plays were all pretty common, so I think most of us have Fife and Laird. And Dusty as well. I don't have Dusty, so that helps me a lot. But yeah, it's just a terrible round. I somehow went up in the rankings. Um, I did field 18 players. I refused to cop a donut. That's, I've always been like that. Um, so I had 21 players planned this week. Ended up with 17. And uh, traded in Logan Austin. Uh, because I just didn't want a copper donut. So, yeah, rank 290. I'm pretty happy with that. Can't complain. So, yeah, scored 1,591. Um, okay score, I guess. I'm not too sure. Not great, but not not the worst. I've seen some teams completely fall apart. I've seen a few 1,200s, 300s, um, 1,300s. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, defense, start on the team. Defense was um, pretty average. Jake Lloyd's been very good for me. Uh, Austin and Duday were were okay. I mean, you take those rookie scores. I mean, last week we had four scores under 36 for rookies, so you take that. Had to play Lockie Murphy. He can go this week. He's not going to make any money. Uh, and he's a good chance he gets dropped. Anyway, the midfield... Um, Parker and Merritt were quite good for me. Uh, usually they can go about 80. They've gone as low as 80 and 70 a couple times. And this was the week I needed them the most. Just so it looked like I had a respectable score. And they did good. Cap Vice Captain Luke Parker took the 1-1-3. Um, I had... My options were Merritt, Grundy and Gorn. And because Gorn and Grundy were up against each other, I just thought it was a little risky. Um... Most players don't score very well versus Gorn. And um, didn't want to captain um, Gorn himself because he was up against really tough competition. So it would have meant less hit-outs to advantage for him. But he had 32% um, 30, 32 of people captained Gorn. So that's a bullet dodge. So well done if you didn't captain him. Um, so yeah, rookies were really didn't do much so that's kind of what you expect from them but this was the week it would have been nice to get like a 90 out of a couple of rookies or something but just didn't happen yeah the rocks were disappointing but happens um that's Gorn's lowest score by a mile so yeah now forward line was reasonable had everyone playing which was nice um traded a Hearn in for Tim Smith and that saved me playing Spargo, and that saved me five points. Um, not sure Tim Smith comes back, uh, but maybe he will. But I uh, just got rid of him. Thought Hearn could pump out a ninety or something, but it didn't happen. So oh well. And yeah, my trades for this week: Walters. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna unleash on Walters very shortly. I've had enough of him. I did recommend trading him in because he was so cheap and there was so much upside, but. You obviously, you can't um, you can't foresee like suspensions and stuff unless it's Sicily. So we're gonna get in Jack Gunston, former Crow, another Crow, former Crow that hates the club, that hates the Crows, and just left just cause it's cause it's fun. It's like the in thing, um, leaving the Crows. So and we're gonna make another trade, Lockie Murphy out for good for. The ever so reliable Shannon Hearn. So I'm trading in Gunston because he has a nice buy, he's underpriced, and the the fixture of Hawthorne it's a complete joke. Um, just all the bottom teams, Carlton, Gold Coast, a couple others. I think they have two difficult games in their fixture, maybe three, and there's about um, ten or eleven games to go. I think eleven games they have to play. Um, oh no, maybe 12 games. 12 games they have to play. Some, whatever, but... Yeah, the fixture's a joke. They play um, Adelaide next week. Adelaide, they are... They're a bit of a mess, so he's going to make a mess of them. And so will Tom Mitchell, so... 
um, get Tom Mitchell as your captain next week. Vice captain, whoever you want, and then and then just chuck the C on Mitchell. And getting in Hearn because he's just reliable, never gets injured. Um, had a really strong finish to last year as well. So I like Hearn. And we'll look at getting Yo possibly next week. And I'll we'll just have a quick look at the team. Okay, we'll make those trades. Make that deal. And then just see how what how my team looks for next week with the buys. Uh, Logan Austin. I think Ridley might come back in two weeks. So if you have him, it might be worth holding him. But I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. I drew Mahini. I'll talk about him in a second, but he might. There's a very slim chance that he is out this week. Hopefully not, though. So I believe I have 18 starting, starting, and um, all right. What's my projected? 18:38. With um, it depends if Laird plays, but. Um, with Vice Captain McRae into Mitchell. Okay, that took a bit too long. Anyway, so we'll get to the agenda. Firstly, I want to talk about Michael Walters. So, this I will never pick this guy again. He's on the Never Again list with Rockliffe, Beams. Um, yeah, any Gold Coast player. So, this guy, he's trouble. I think... Four times he's been injured mid-game in the past 12 rounds, including his last game last year. Um, he had like a hand injury, a leg injury. Um, copped that 19 early in the season. I can't remember what that was for, but he was injured. Uh, PCL or something. And then there was the injury last year, which ended his season. So four out of 12 games he gets injured, plus a, a, a suspension. Throw in, he might, I don't know why Ross Lyon played him forward. No Nat Fife. Walters goes in the midfield in the third quarter. They start winning. Who would have thought? Um, I'm talking about Frio beating the Crows. Um, I don't know why he played forward. Really dumb part. Really dumb by Ross Lyon, in my opinion. And I like Ross Lyon, so don't understand that. Too much baggage with this guy. We need a guy, we need players that are not injury prone and going to play preferably 22 games maybe miss one or two here and there but this guy he's just there's just too much baggage with him and now he's suspended and he's out for two weeks out he goes I've had enough now I dream Mahini yeah I'm so annoyed with the Walters but I know I feel bad because I said trade him in because he, there was so much upside but it's whatever um the upside was there, and it was always a risk, but it just didn't work out. Anyway, I dream of Heaney. So he was supposed to go on the Sunday footy show, and he copped a head knock, which I didn't see in the game. So he didn't go on the footy show. Hopefully he plays this week. Um, I don't think it was a serious head knock, but it was enough to make him pull out of a football show. So... Hopefully he's okay. I think he'll be okay, but um, don't be too surprised if it happens on Thursday night or Wednesday night. I think there's a Wednesday game. No, there's, there's a Thursday game. So teams will come out um, Wednesday, I think. Because Sydney played Friday. Anyway, Devin Smith, I'm not sure about this injury. Haven't heard much. I've heard two to three weeks. I've heard a, it was a nothing injury. I'm going to hold him. He's been good, so... Yeah. Hopefully it's not too serious. Now, Josh Kelly scored a lot this week um, from, from GWS. This pick is not for me. I love Josh Kelly. I think he's a star. But the groin injury is a concern. Um, with groin injuries, I don't know if it's still affect him, affecting him. So um, he can come out and pull out of like a 50 score if, he's, if his groin is bugging him. So... Not for me, Josh Kelly. He was playing Gold Coast. If you've ever played sport and you you say you're in Division 3 of any sport, say tennis, because I play tennis, and then 
you know, you do okay, all the teams are pretty competitive, but there's always that one team at the bottom that just gets smashed every week because they shouldn't be in that division. That's Gold Coast. They get smashed every week. Um, their best midfielder, Jared Lyons, is playing in their knee full for some reason. Same with Barlow. They're just getting destroyed. They're uncompetitive. And, yeah, when you play the bottom team, you just it's a free win. You don't even have to train during the week. You just turn up and you go, let's get this over with. And we can do whatever we want. So I don't expect big scores from Kelly um, in the future. But um, not for me. At his price, I prefer Trelaw or Oliver or Gaff. Preferably Trelaw or Oliver, though. So, uh, Bailey Fritch. I'm not trading him out. Um, for the long run, I think he's going to be useful with his cover. And we can still play him on the field at the moment. I'm not trading out Fritch. He's been very nice. I know he has the buy. Um, if you have a donut, you could trade him out if you want. But I like him. I'm going to hold on to him. Now, Mia Cech, um Collingwood key forward, who's actually a defender in Supercoach. First year key forward is a no no. Don't touch him. I'm gonna put a line through him. I don't I don't like this pick. Um so Joel Smith played last year for about fifteen minutes and got injured for the season. Um I like this guy. Nearly traded him him in this week over Austin, but um He's so injury prone. It's like, it's, it's like Daniel Wells esque injury proneness by this guy. He has so many injuries. I was just looking at his history, injury history. I think it's AFL Inside, the website or something like that. If you type in AFL Inside and then put in Joel Smith in Google, you'll come up with his injury history. It's very long. It's not. It's not pretty. But he's a defense defensive mid, so very very risky. But. I probably I probably won't touch him. Um, another guy, Beth. I'm not sure his first name, but Battle from St Kilda. Like the like the look of this guy. He played pretty well, but um, could be a rookie to watch. He is the round 14 buy, but no point getting him in now. But one to watch. And Lord Billings, 54 touches. Maybe it was 53. I heard 54 and three goals. I think the AFL record for touches is 54. He's $316,000. I am considering him for F7. Actually, probably not because I'll, have, I'll keep Fridge. But if you need an F7, I think this is not the worst thing in the world because of his price. Um, plays Gold Coast this week. It's a free win, so... Actually, no, I'm not going to consider him. No to Lord Billings, but... It just makes you wonder, really. How do you score? He scored 190 Supercoach points, so he's clearly got way too much talent for the VFL. So, I thought that was interesting. But, um, if you want, you could go for it. Probably not for me. Anyway, that's all from me. That went, that went pretty long. Too much to talk about this round. Good luck this week. I'm going to do my best to not cop a donut. Need some luck. Uh, Walters can get out. I've had enough of him. There's a good chance that he gets injured or something Something bad happens to him um, in the final 10 rounds. So, not for me. I only plays Carlton this week. That was a free hit against Carlton. So, that's unfortunate. Anyway, good luck this week. And, yeah.